you think karate might have helped with that because that that thing to to make decisions i don't know i'm just, I'm just sort of, because that whole thing about mind discipline i think is really important 100%. because i don't i don't know whether i did like to make a big change like that i um, think i think the the change came about um I, I sort of just slightly touched on it when um i went out of a girl for a couple of years at 17 i was working with her brother who taught me tiling her eldest brother danny he was such an inspiration to me. I mean, he was a good looking lad. Um, he'd got his black belt in karate. He just, he was 23 and at 17, I thought that's like, I want to be like him. And he was definitely um, an inspiration. And I only really knew him for about a year and a half before we lost him. But he was the guy that inspired me to achieve because I wasn't, I didn't come away from school with, Anything, uh, no sort of qualifications, um, and I just I, I I think being dyslexic and struggling at school, it was easy for me to mess about at school um, and let people sort of think, oh, he's the joker, rather than facing up to it and um, you know people think I'm just absolutely stupid. So by acting the joker, you sort of cover the, your you know you know your lack of intelligence or your struggle well, it in wasn't school. Lack of, it's not a lack of intelligence no, I, you know, no, I didn't know that about you so yeah. i didn't know not, you didn't no know, it's you, been so a real thing so for difficult. me it's been a real thing for me and i am um, back in the day and this is not again no fault of my parents but dyslexia wasn't really recognized and um they thought perhaps I was just a bit naughty or so this i mean my mum and dad sent me to a private school and it was really victorian um you did five things wrong, you'd get the slipper uh, at the end of the week, um, it was um, a structure, so you'd have an exam every month and it would be from bottom to top, so it's like the, the guy that didn't achieve to the guy that did achieve it, and I never sort of moved off those mm. sort of, and I just like, it's so wrong now really, I mean they'd never do that now, but at the time it was really embarrassing because I never kind of moved off always felt like the divvy chill and never got to the oh God, back chairs. How, how bad's that? Though? It's so naughty. Yeah, and, but, but, no, but, but, but like to actually, I'm just hearing you saying divvy chair. Like, yeah. And, you know, we, we're just using words that would be used back then, yeah. like dunces cap. And, just, we, I went through it as well, like, just, this is what school, isn't yeah. it? But, the, the, but you would actually have, this is actually like dyslexia. Yeah. You know, it was not recognised, was it? No. But how how did you adapt then? What, what did, I know you said you covered up with a joker, but you, you obviously I think you adapt. You you know. What did you do to get through? Well, if you read, it's only when I went to Tarling College that mm. I actually realised that uh, I was quite heavily dyslexic yeah. and my numbers were back to front. And what do you do? I think you just adapt. I don't think um, I hate now someone saying you can't do that because well, I'm dyslexic. I think that you just uh, you just got a bit more of an uphill struggle ahead. So, what would you say to people? Because there will be people watching this mm. that maybe you know have dyslexia. What yeah. would you, from a person who has it, what would you? What would be your advice to these? Just um, you know, you can adapt. Like um, you know, read the questions. So if you've got use the questions and sort of check. Like when you're writing, um, double check. Sometimes it comes out in speech as well. Just don't let it overcome. It doesn't have to own you. Don't let it own you. Just mm. don't let it own you. You know, it doesn't mean you're thick. Everyone's got their own gifts and own talents. And um, just because you don't excel at that, you'll excel at something else. And uh, strengths and weaknesses. That's a weakness, but I won't let it own me. Well, actually, it's, you've turned into a strength, really. Yeah. Well, you think you've used it, but you've used it to adapt. Yeah. Like, if you hadn't had it, you may not have adapted. No, no, that's it. Right, yeah, right. totally. Because, you know, you, totally. You, it's made me who I am today, Yeah, you, for like, sure. look at what you've got. You've got, you've got, you've got, you've got successful business. Yeah. You've got this yeah. lovely house. You cut my lovely hair really wife. well. I've not had my hair cut. But, you know, you've got a lovely... <laughs> like kids. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, right. yeah.